at Six Flags with Olivia and Tommy. Five minutes in, they ditched me. So I'm walking around alone. It's all good. I'm gonna ride some roller coasters, look at some aminals. And try to uh, self-medicate during my back pain. I'm officially an old, old guy. Say hello, Livy and Tommy. We're going on Medusa. Yep, first time. First time on an upside down roller coaster. Whoops, wrong way, wrong way. So what's what's the story on this one? Oh, are you gonna film me? No, I'm not filming you. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I'm just filming the animal. Uh, well, his name is Brandon. He'll be 13 in August. He was 13. born here at the park. Um, his mom, McCallie, right over there, getting some attention as well. H how long do they typically live? Maybe like mid twenties into their twenties, oh, okay. but they can start showing signs of age, like in their teens. Um, McCallie just turned nineteen, so she's already showing signs of age. Wow, I've never been this close to him before. Yeah. <laughs> I've been to a zoo, but I haven't been up this close to a giraffe. Yeah, if you guys are interested in feeding, oh, can I? Get down, sweetie. Thank you. Just for safety reasons. Um, you can purchase a bundle of food for ten dollars. Only gets one person on the dock to feed Brandon. Hi guys, if you're interested in our feeding, uh, purchase one right over there. If you have any questions, please let me know. Mm -hmm. So right now he's eating acacia. What are um, their names? His name is Brandon. Aww. And Brandon. his mom, Callie, is she's right over there. She's getting some attention as well. Uh, only if you pay for feeding. So yeah, we feed them um, large branches, <laughs> which we call browse. We also give them alfalfa, as well as an herbivore um, chow. We go out every few days to go chop down these branches just for them. Uh -huh. um, but they also get willow and sumac here. Um, and so they get their diet both outside in the yard and as well as in the barn when they go to bed. Are they picky eaters, or are they just kind of eat whatever you guys bring to them? I mean, he can be picky sometimes. Sometimes yeah. he's like, I don't really want to eat acacia today, or I prefer sumac. So. Do you guys have to give them some type of uh, like supplement, like uh, like kind of like what they do with cattle and stuff, where they give them like a salt supplement? Do you guys have to do that with these guys? Um, so there, I mean, what we supplement was the alfalfa. Oh, gotcha. Um, so in the wild, typically they'll eat up to like 100 pounds of food a day. Dang! Um, but here wow. is probably a little bit less, just because they do get that supplemental yeah. diet. Yeah. Yeah. Leaves and uh, bark. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's a little bit more nutritious. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And you guys are free to go out if you would like. Okay. All right. Bye. There's some yummy treats. 
so that's really cool um i have never been up close to some of these animals before i mean i've seen them on like safaris and um i've seen them from a distance and i've seen them up close on tv but i've never seen them that close in person i mean i'm like 10 feet away from a lot of these animals not, not even that so that was pretty cool um granted i know they're not wild and you know uh i'm no expert on these species but they look pretty pretty well fed and they're just out there laying around in the sun i mean it's in the 60s today the high and it's sunny uh it rained quite a bit this morning and yesterday so it seems like everything's just out enjoying the rays getting some vitamin d which i think is really really cool I'd quickly show you my branchia uh, type bees that I got from Seth um, at uh, I believe it's locality bow was only um, look at the freaking head on that one this is the female I believe you know what I've noticed about these guys um, now they just ate last night you can see the bulge right there but they're typically pretty good but she just actually struck at me which is kind of kind of unique for these guys but they're not too bad um actually the they're not bad at all once you get them out but uh look at the head on that just so so cool um they should be shedding sometime soon so uh these guys are little just monsters with uh feeding they just want to eat, eat 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 all the time so they're like little uh, garbage disposals on honestly they eat probably and have a feeding response i would say similar to a brazilian rainbow or a woma python uh, the only difference is is they they can tell when you're opening like they're much better you know like at a woman python you could take it out and hold it like this and it'll turn around and start chewing on you these guys don't do that you get them out they know that like you're not food obviously this animal's in under no stress whatsoever at least it's not showing signs of it um and doesn't seem to be acting defensive or worried at all um look at the tail just really 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 beautiful beautiful locality um now, I'm going to get the other one out real quick so you guys can see it. I'm doing it against my house just because it's kind of a an easy backdrop because it's one color. Um, it's kind of overcast right now. It's late afternoon on Easter. So, um, uh, anyway, so I'll show you guys the other one real quick. Okay, so that was the female. This is the male. And he is just nuts as far as color goes. I mean, just completely out of control. Like, this dude is, I love the pink heads on these. Um, just got insane light pastel color. Uh, I'm, I, I'm just blown away by this animal's color. Just very, very light. Uh, I don't think the pictures, the camera's picking it up. I wonder if I walk out here to my patio. shows a little bit better but um just such such beautiful peaches and creams like the whole side of it's peach he has just got amazing color and seth told me when he sent me this animal he's like this animal has some of the nicest color i've ever seen in a colombian boa before 
I mean, just beautiful symmetrical tail, like just that one little spot right there that connects those two, but they're insane. Just gorgeous, gorgeous locality. I love them to death. Harley, of course, is curious what's going on. Harley, back off, back off, no. Um, no, no. I mean, I could let him take a nip, but you know what? She'd be right back sniffing. Trust me, you don't wanna, you don't wanna get close. This guy doesn't know what you are. So this is the male, um, really, really beautiful, beautiful locality. I figured, you know, I showed you guys in this video, you know, it was a little bit of a non-reptile type video. I had to finish off strong with something you guys would actually enjoy a little bit more since most of my viewers are watching the channel for, not for travel, but for, uh, for, for the snakes. So anyway, hopefully you guys liked it. Um, and uh, let me know if you guys have any questions. Take it, take it easy, and happy Easter.